Hey, hey everybody. So what we're going to do now is install Python on the Mac. Python comes in two basic flavors or two basic versions. Let me just go to the downloads. You see here I'm on downloads and because I'm on a Mac, it's showing me the download options for Mac OS 10. It's pretty much the same thing on Windows. The difference between Python on Windows and on Mac is tiny, 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 makes no difference. So in this course, I'm doing summative demos on the Mac, summative demos on the Windows computers. Doesn't matter which one you're using. You can even be using Chromebooks with or Linux with Python and you'll be fine because Python itself on all the operating systems, all the types of computers is the same. So you see, I'm recording this now. Python 3.6 is out and you have Python 2.7. Now, what's the difference between 3.6 and 2.7? Well, we call the three branch, three branch meaning 3.6, 3.7, you know, whatever. 3.6 is the latest version, then you got the two branch, 2.6, 2.7, etc., etc. et cetera. So the big difference is that Python 3 is the newer version, it's the version you should be learning with. There are some differences between Python 3 and Python 7, 2.7. Nerds would say this is the 3x branch because it's, because it can be 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, etc. And this is the 2x branch, 2.7, etc., etc. Now, the 2 branch is the older version, and they still keep it around because there are, there are a lot of Python apps that still use 2.7. You see point you see the point 13. When you have version numbers like two, that's a major version number. Three, that's a major version number. Then you see a point six, that tells you that they've they've added significant changes to the version three. So when you have three point five or three point six, that means that point five, that point six tells you that there has been some significant changes to Python. When you see, uh, so same thing with two point five, two point six, two point seven. We're at two point seven now. Now you see the 0.13, these, when you have a sub subversion, so 2.7 is the subversion, 3.6 here, and this version here is the subversion. And when you have 0.13 after the subversion, sub subversion, this usually means bug fixes, bug fixes. So this applies to whether it be apps or programming languages, you know, when you see these points, you now know what it means. So the 2x branch, meaning 2.7.13 in this case, is the old version. People still use it, so they maintain it, but they're not making any new changes to the 2x branch. They're just maintaining it, fixing some bugs. The 3 branch is where all the action is. That's what we're going to learn. Python 2 and Python 3 are very similar, but there are some significant differences. So we're going to be learning with Python 3.6, although whether you have 3.5 on your system or 3.7 or 8 or even Python 4, the chances are everything in this course will be totally fine for you. It's no big deal. So what you do is you click on this button here, 3.6, and you're going to see it's going to start downloading here. Now, you can see down here, I already downloaded it. So let's uh, you can go show in Finder on the Mac. And here it is, Python 3.6. So I have it twice because I, I downloaded it twice. So I'm just going to delete this. So let me, um, what should I do? I'll bring this to my desktop just so it's clean. And so we're good. So now we install this like we would any other app. Now, on Mac, Mac comes pre-installed with Python. So let me show you how to get to that. So we're going to go to the terminal. So I'm open up Spotlight, which is command spacebar. And I type in terminal. And the terminal launches. Let me just get this out of the way for now. So terminal allows you to basically talk to your computer directly. So I'm going to just type in Python like this. And it's going to tell me which version of Python is installed on Mac. You can see here, it's 2.7.10. It's not even the latest version of 2.7. The latest version of 2.7 is 2.713. Still pretty, pretty new. Now, we want to use 2.7. No, we want to use 3.6. Now, I had installed Python 3, but it was 3.5. So let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to get out of Python with exit. 
and I'm going to say Python 3. And you see here, now I'm inside of Python 3.5.2, which is uh, the earlier version. Now, if you have 3.5.2 and you don't want to install 3.6, you're probably going to be perfectly fine, especially with, uh, when you're getting into all the standard packages, the basic stuff in Python. And now, right in the uh, terminal, the Mac terminal, and if you check out the Windows install, I'll show you how to have the, I'll show you the equivalent thing on Windows. We can run Python commands, like the basic command in Python is print. You can print some text. Stefan is a nerd, no question about that. Hit enter, and Python sends us back the text. Stefan is a nerd. But what we want to do is we want to install the later version of Python. So I'm going to just exit this. And uh, let me just close this window. And let's go back to our Python package here. And what we're going to do here is uh, install Python. So we install Python. Boom, boom, continue, blah, blah, blah. We agree, agree, yeah, we're all good. You can trust Python. Installer is trying to install software. Use Touch ID, Touch ID. Ah, yeah. If you have a computer with Touch ID, you don't have to enter your password. You can just use your Touch ID to give uh, apps permission to install. So this should install. It says less than a minute. I got a brand new computer here, so it should be pretty fast. All right, it's installed. Pretty good. So now I don't need this installer anymore. I can just delete it. And uh, Python should be installed. Now I had installed a previous version of Python. We'll see what happens when I click on this. So yeah, Python 3.5, that's the old version of Python. So let me just get out of this and uh, let's see if I can find a new version. So I'm gonna open up the spotlight again, Python. See, I got the two versions here, right? Python launcher for 3.5, for 3.6, we want 3.6, so I hit enter. So what's going on here? See, now it basically is configuring Python to work our with our system settings for Python script blah, blah, run terminal window or blah, blah, boom okay just leave it all as it is we're good we'll try I D L E there we go that's what we want so the Python launcher but we just saw before this thing preferences yeah we saw the preferences so the preferences, just leave it like this. Just leave it standard. So it's not the Python launcher. I just wanted to show you that the Python launcher allows you to configure a computer so that Python will work on the computer. You just leave it default. You should be okay. So what we want, command spacebar, IDLE, which is the Python integrated development environment. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to select 3.6. We launch. Here we go. 3.6. So this window, this is an app that comes with Python that allows you to write Python code. Now you see this warning here? It's saying you have a, uh, a version of TCL slash TK. This is an app that may be unstable. We have version 8.5.9. And if you want more information, visit this page here, which I'll take us to, hold on. And this is what we're talking about here. See, if you look here, or Python 3.6, 3.52, this is what they're talking about. Now I have uh, this version, it's considered an alternate and they're giving me a warning, could be unstable, they recommend the earlier version. I've been working with uh, this newer version and I haven't had any problems myself. So when you, if you see this warning because you have the 8.5.9 version of TCL slash TK, just hit enter and you get to the command prompt. What is the command prompt? It's these three arrows. So now you can start writing commands, print. This is some Python. All right, so hit enter, and Python prints back to us the text. This is some Python in blue. We'll learn more about all this stuff in later videos. This has been going on too long, so I'm gonna pause it right here.